Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video we're going to do the unboxing for this high-end router by Osus known as the RTAC68U. It's also known as the wireless AC1900 router and this is a very high-end router and also it's pretty expensive. And if you recall, uh, this is to the successor to the uh, AC66U which I reviewed about a month ago. And this one is a little bit faster. Uh, for example, on the 2.4 GHz band, this supports speeds up to 600 megabits, and the AC, it supports speeds up to 1300 megabits. And again, it's a simultaneous dual band router. That means it works on the 2.4 GHz band as well as the AC 5 GHz band. And another good thing about this router is that out of the two USB ports, one of them is a USB 3 port. So that's a highlighting factor. And it also has the AI radar technology and also it has the AI cloud and also is offering a three year warranty. And again, as standard, we also have uh, iOS and Android apps for this router. And let's uh, look at uh, what is given on the back. Again, it gives an idea about the overview of this router. And again, as you can see, uh, Osus has a range of other routers. The last one that we reviewed was this AC1750. This is the one that we're doing right now. That is the RTAC68U. So let's uh, quickly open up. And uh, regarding the pricing, uh, it's as I told you, it's a pretty expensive router. And uh, in India, uh, this router sells for around rupees 19,000. It has to be one of the most expensive router that I am going to test. So let's keep this box aside. And let's see what do we actually get and uh, right away we get the router itself again it's black and uh, again we have a stand here we'll come back to the router a bit later and uh, we have the power adapter here for the router again it has three detachable antennas that are here and we also get standard manuals and stuff like this also we have a huge this is a pretty big uh what do you say warranty and uh, manual I, it's uh, big because it's in various languages and uh, we have an ethernet cable uh, some plugs country specific plugs and what else nothing else so that's what you get in the router so let's quickly have a look at the router as you can see this is the router itself and the stand is actually attached here and your antennas will plug in over here so we have three external antennas and uh, in terms of looks it looks very similar to the rt uh, n66u uh, it's matte finish but the only thing is that it's standing and on the back we have a lot of vents to dissipate the heat and we have a power on off button we have a reset button over here let me just zoom in and uh, we have the power end we have the first is a usb 2 port and this one is interesting this is a usb 3 port so i'll be testing this a lot i'll connect some usb 3 based thumb drives etc and see how well it works we have the van port uh, your internet connection will go here again it's a gigabit port and we also have this led on off button so that is interesting so if the led lights over here bother you you can disable that using this button so that is interesting and again we have four uh, ethernet ports again these are gigabit ports so on the bottom actually we have nothing and on the side actually uh, we have the wi-fi on off button that is interesting and also we have the wps uh, sorry uh, we also have the wps button let's see what we have on this side we have nothing for those who think this router is pretty expensive i have uh, completed my testing of this tp link router this is a very affordable router and i'll soon be posting my in-depth review for this router. so again uh, that's it for now for this quick unboxing of this uh, osus router i'll be testing this router for the next three or four weeks then i'll be producing my full in-depth review thank you this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video